Hi everybody. Hope that you are healthy and fine. So children, today let us move to the last part of our history lesson 1 tracing changes over a thousand years. In the previous class we discussed about region and empires. And we studied about the type of empire occupied by the Chola, the Tukluk and the Mughal empires. They were very large. Right? Okay. So children, today's our focus goes on the religious development or the type of changes occurred in the field of religion. So children, the old and new religion. That is, what happened, what type of changes we can see in what we call today as Hinduism. So in Hinduism, lots of changes occurred during this medieval period. Like the construction of temples, the worship of new deities, then the importance of Brahmins and priests, then the idea of Bhakti. So let me explain all these points. So children, the first noticeable change occurred in Hinduism was the construction of temples. That is, new temples were constructed by royalties. Royalty means rulers or kings. Before that, the people worshipped the natural forces like rain, sun, wind, etc. The earliest human beings worshipped natural forces. But now, in the medieval period, people started to worship God and goddesses. And they started to construct new temples for their God and goddesses. Then, who spent money for the construction of temples? The royalties. The royal families, that is the king and the rulers. Then children, the next change, noticeable development happened in the Hinduism was the appearance of new deities. Deity means the god or the gods. Deity, D-I-E-T-I-E-S, deities. So, the growing importance of new deities like Shiva, Vishnu, Durga, new deities appeared in Hinduism. People started to worship new deities. The second noticeable change. Then, the next was very important, growing importance of Brahman, Brahmins and the priests. We know that the Brahmins were considered as the upper caste community. They had a high privilege in the society. And also we studied that the Amir Gusru said that they were the scholars. They know Sanskrit language very well. So because of this knowledge, their knowledge about the Sanskrit language, they enjoyed a prominent position in the society. People approached them in their religious matters to do rituals or to do some functions, religious functions. Common people needed the help of Brahmins and the priests. So their importance increased in the society. That was the third change in, in Hinduism. And uh, children, the next was uh, the emergence of the idea of Bhakti. See what is Bhakti? Yes, Bhakti means, uh, see, extreme love and devotion to God. The extreme love and devotion to God is called the idea of bhakti. That is, a person will get blessings of God through his love and his devotion to God. Earlier, 
people approached the Brahmins to get the blessings of the God. Because the Brahmins only know to do the, they only know the Sanskrit language. So people needed the help of Brahmins because Sanskrit was the God's language. Common people does not allow to study this language. So they always needed the support and the aid of Brahmins to do their religious functions. But now the idea of Bhakti emerged and the people believed that no need of the help of Brahmins to get the blessings of the God. Through Bhakti and the love, one can attain God's grace. That is Bhakti. Children, we will study about this Bhakti movement in the upcoming classes. Clear? So, the Bhakti movement was against caste system. And the Bhakti, the followers of Bhakti believed that caste the grouping people into different group is an injustice activity. They were against the caste system. They believed that all children will get the grace of God if he has real love or if he has, if he is the real devotee of God, he will get blessings of God. Without the help of Brahmins. And the, the followers were against the rituals and the religious practices. That is we know that see the Brahmins are doing lots of rituals, religious rituals. It is more expensive. It is elaborate functions. They were against the followers of Bhakti movement was against all sorts of elaborate rituals. Only through our love and devotion, we will, get, we will get blessings of God. So, emergence of Bhakti was another noticeable change in the religious area. Clear? So, once more, Hinduism underwent lots of changes. These changes were, the uh, royalties started to construct new temples in their regions. Then the emergence of new deities, new god and goddess appeared. Then the growing importance of priests and Brahmins in the society. And the last one, the idea of bhakti emerged in the society. Hope that you got idea about the changes or the developments happened in so-called Hinduism. Okay. Then children, see, new religion also emerged in the Indian subcontinent. Like Islam. Here new religion implies Islam. Islam. See children, the Islam emerged in the Indian subcontinent in the 7th century. 7th century or 7th CE. See, during this period, the merchants or the business persons who came to India and they brought the teachings of the Holy Quran to the Indian subcontinent. And they spread the teachings of the Holy Quran to the subcontinent. And they believed that the Quran is the holy book of Muslims. And they believed the existence of one God. And this, uh, and Quran says that every people will get the love and mercy and the grace of God without his caste background. Without considering his caste background, a person will get God's grace. Then children, Islam was patronized by many rulers. Many rulers were the patrons of Islam. So who was a patron? Who was a patron? Patron is a person. 
patron means a wealthy person who supports another person clear who was a patron a wealthy person like a ruler a king who supports others so here the many rulers supported islam so we can call them the patrons rulers were the patrons of islam they believed islam and they patroned the ulama and the religious scholars and the children islam was interpreted in different ways like hinduism islam was interpreted in different ways that is islam was in islam we can see two communities shia muslims and sunni muslims see once more islam was interpreted differently by different group of followers one group of followers is called shia muslims and the other is called sunni muslims here shia muslims believed that prophet Muhammad son in law Ali was the legitimate leader they considered our prophet son in law Ali was the legitimate leader of the community whereas the muslims they gave more importance to the caliphs they considered caliphs as as their leader and they gave more importance to caliphs clear next children thinking about time and historical period time and historical period so the history was divided into different periods we studied in the beginning of the lesson i told you history was divided into three periods prehistory medieval history and modern history but children the british historians they divided indian history into three groups they are the hindu period muslim period and the british period once more the british historians divided indian history into three periods there were hindu period muslim period and british period and these historians only considered the religion of the rulers so they divided hindu period because india indian subcontinent was controlled by hindu rulers first so that period they considered as hindu period then later the muslim rulers controlled the indian subcontinent they became the rulers so that period was considered as the muslim period then after the muslim rulers the britishers came and they ruled our india so that period is known as the british period so children the british historians forgot the social political and the cultural and the rich diversity of the indian subcontinent they only considered the religion of the rulers so today a few historians only follow this periodization because they only considered the religion it is not correct only by only considering the religion we cannot study the whole history of a area of an area clear so children we know that not only that we know that the 16th century is different from 8th century many changes were there not only beyond the religion lots of changes will be there so they ignored to consider the other areas of developments clear so that's only for today's class we will again meet in the next class with our first lesson of political science children hope that you understood today's topic so thank you children